Hi, I'm Dr. T, and I'm a pediatrician. On Ask Dr. T, I answer health questions from teens. Questions ranging from safe sex, to self-love, to questions about body parts. Let's get this episode started. These questions are all about puberty that occur in those with female anatomy. So, question number one. I'm a 17, almost 18 year old female, and I have been having a lot of discharge since I was 15, but I still haven't had my period. What should I do? So if the discharge started when you were 15, that probably means that you're going to be due for your period sometime soon. You certainly would be considered what's called a late bloomer, but that's not a big deal. It's totally fine. Uh, but what I would say is that if you notice discharge a couple years ago, usually about two years after that discharge starts is when you're going to have a period. So I would say you should expect it any day, but if you have concerns, certainly talk with your doctor. Question number two. I'm already 15 and my breasts aren't growing, but my period started when I was nine. Okay. I suspect the question is about your breast size. Join the club. We are not all going to have the same size and shape breasts. And that's okay. Sometimes breasts are just going to be a little bit smaller. If you feel your breasts and there's a little bit of extra tissue there, your breasts have started developing. Now, breast development itself lasts the whole course of puberty. So on average, puberty is about four years for those with female anatomy, but it can fluctuate, and so you may still get a little extra breast tissue, but I suspect you're pretty much done, and that's okay. The whole point of breasts is to produce milk for a baby. So if you have mammary ducts and mammary glands, then your body has done its work. Your size is going to probably be comparable to your mom or your grandparents, grandmoms, grandmoms. Um, but that's okay. Everyone's breasts look and feel a little bit different. So I suggest, from personal experience and in my professional opinion, just love what you got because it's probably perfect, just fine. So, sorry, we don't all win the breast lottery, and that's okay. Question number three. When does female breast development typically stop? Okay, so this is kind of related to that last question of, so the first sign of puberty is going to be the breast bud, which is basically just a little mound of your nipple and the areola, so the dark area surrounding the nipple. And that's the first sign of puberty and the first sign of breast development. And it usually takes about four years or so for those breasts to fully develop. So I would say if you can remember when that even started happening, it would be about four years later that your breasts are done developing. If you can't remember, think about your period. If you've had your period, Usually breast development is going to wind down about a year and a half later or so. So um, about four years after puberty starts or a year or two after you've had your period. Your breast should be pretty much done. Another way to tell is by the shape. And doctors use something called tanner staging to tell how far along a breast is in developing. but. Basically, when we see an adult contour breast, so meaning that the nipples and the areola are enlarged and kind of flat and flush with the rest of the tissue, um, of, or the, the rest of the skin of the breast, then that probably means that you have your adult breasts and you're done. All right. Question number four. Ever since puberty, my periods have been irregular. I actually got on birth control, which cut my period off completely, but now I'm off birth control, and I still don't get my period. Am I infertile or healthy? So this is a tough one, because generally we like to hold off on starting birth control until someone is regular with their periods, unless 
you need it for regulating your period. And so, um, again, it's going to be a little bit tough to say for you in particular. Um, I'm not, it doesn't mean that you're infertile. It just means that things quite ha haven't synced up yet for your hormones. What I would recommend doing is talking to your doctor about sort of resetting things. You can get a short course of hormones that will sort of jumpstart your period and then give yourself a little bit of time to regulate. But it's totally normal for your period to be irregular um, for the first couple of years after your first period. And so that in and of itself doesn't mean you're infertile. Uh, it just means that your period is, is kind of getting itself all set up. So not to worry there at all. Um, but yeah, I would talk to your doctor and see if you can kind of jumpstart your period right now. It seems like the birth control kind of threw things off. And that's okay. No, no long-term damage. You're okay. All right, and question number five. This is kind of embarrassing. Don't worry. No, it's not. Um, but how do diva cups work? I'm 17, and my periods are super heavy, so when I use tampons, I always have to use supers. I want to know how to put a diva cup in. Okay, so this is super interesting because, um, well, first of all, a lot of people end up starting with a pad for their periods. Um, if you've ever used a pad, it can feel a little uncomfortable, messy, kind of like a diaper, which is rude. I don't want to feel like that. Tampons are great because they allow a little bit more freedom and they feel a little bit less messy. Diva cups. So this is going to be my personal and professional opinion here. Diva cups uh, come in a variety of sizes. So if you're just starting, you're going to want to figure out what size works best for you. There are some websites that I will put in the episode description that you can go to to see what size you might want to try. But you can also get sort of like a variety pack. Diva cups. You put them in by, hold on, I might have one here. You know, this is a Diva cup. So the way it works is it goes up kind of like this. So, you know, you would insert a tampon, you insert the Diva cup. But obviously, this is a relatively large opening, and you don't just stick it in there. You kind of have to fold it up on itself. So usually you want to form something like this. And then you kind of have to wiggle it around and insert it. And then as you put it in, it has to still slowly open up and deploy. Because if it's bent like this, period blood can still get through. So um, you have to make sure that it's fully open. What I will tell you is that these are wonderful but they involve a lot of intimacy and understanding of your vagina. If you're not ready to feel around and put your finger up there with the Diva Cup, it might not be the right time to try it. They're certainly wonderful, but sometimes that kind of weirds people out. But basically that's how it works. Um, it's this little cup and you insert it up into your vagina and it catches the blood like that. And then you take it out and you have to dump the blood out. Someone told me once to take it out in the shower. I think it's a wonderful idea. That's super easy, so you can do that too. Um, but they're really cool. You can keep them in place for 12 hours. Um, catch the blood, dump it, clean it, put it back in. That's how Diva Cups work. They're pretty cool. Um, alrighty. Uh, that'll do it for this round of puberty questions. And remember, if you have a question for Ask Dr. T, you can either respond in this video or submit through my website, askdrt.net.